Today we're going to be working with the split screen effect in Movavi Video Editor Plus. And before you ask, no, I'm not switching. It's just, well, let's take a look. A few weeks ago, I put out a video where I opened up Movavi Video Editor Plus for the very first time and tried to navigate my way through the software and put together some kind of sequence. And you guys seem to enjoy that. So Movavi reached out and asked me to do a series of tutorials in Movavi Video Editor Plus so I could show you guys some of the other capabilities of this NLE. So this is a sponsored video. This is actually the beginning of a sponsored series of tutorials in Movavi Video Editor Plus. So thank you so much. Huge shout out to Movavi for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check out Movavi Video Editor Plus for yourself, there's a link in the description as well as a discount code. So you should definitely take advantage of that. Today we're talking about the split screen effect, which has a lot of different uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. I mean, you can do things like simulate Zoom calls, do tutorials where your face is in the corner. You can do an actual split screen and with a little finesse and some decent lighting, you could even clone yourself. So let's take a look at how to set this up. The first thing you're gonna need is a second video track. By default, the timelines in Movavi Video Editor have one video track. You need to add one. In order to do that, just come over to the left of the timeline and right click and go to add extra track and you can choose video, music, or title track. We're gonna choose video for this particular tutorial. Next, we're gonna organize our video clips. So the way that I have this set up is all of the clips that I wanna resize are on the top video track and all of the ones that are staying the same, what we'll call our base plates, are on the bottom video track. So if we come over here, you'll see we've got a woman talking on a headset right here. We've got me doing a tutorial right here. We've got a close up of some welding right here. And then here we have me coming in and causing distractions from the corner of the frame. And then if we deactivate this track real quick and take a look at our bottom track, we've got a woman who seems to be enjoying a conversation via web call and then we've got a screen grab from one of my more recent tutorials, which you should definitely check out. That'll actually be linked in the description. It goes over how to work in the lab color space in DaVinci Resolve. And then our next clip is of a welder doing some welding. And then finally, we have a clip of me checking out some stuff on my computer and seeming like I noticed something and looked behind me. So what we're gonna do is first activate this video track again, and we're going to make sure that the clip of the woman wearing the headset is selected. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to more tools and overlay, and in here we've got a few different options. We can do picture in picture, which is the standard. You've got the main picture and then you've got a, a separate picture down in like the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We'll be using that one later. And then you can do logo or if you have a logo or something, you can put it in the top right hand of the screen, overlap, side by side, left and right, side by side, top and bottom, and then trio left, center and right. So what we're going to do for this one is we're going to do trio right and what that's going to do is that's going to put the woman that's talking on the headset over on the right side of the screen and if we go ahead and play that back you'll see we've got a nice little video chat simulation going on it was super super easy right let's move on to the tutorial so let's go ahead and select our clip of me talking doing a tutorial and what we're going to do for this one is picture in picture and you can see i think i'm a little bit too big there because you can't really see what i'm doing in the curve so i'm going to go ahead and just come up to the corner of the window and we're just going to click and drag and resize myself and if i wanted to move myself anywhere else on the screen i could do that so i can move myself up here so you guys could see me. And so that's how you can do a tutorial. You can also use that for gaming. So you'll have the game as the main clip and then you'll have you playing the game in the corner somewhere. Moving on, let's take a look at this welding scenario. So what I wanna do here is kind of a split screen. So you've got the welder looking at what he's welding. And then on the second half of the screen, you're gonna actually have a close up of what he's welding. So what we're gonna do 
is we're gonna choose side by side right for this one. And what we also need to do here is we need to slide this over a little bit so we can actually see the welder. So we'll move him over. And now, if we play that back, we've got exactly what I wanted. We've got a nice split screen with a welder looking at his project and then a close up of what he's doing, which that turned out pretty good. Next, we're going to move on and we're gonna do this cloning scenario, which I had a lot of fun making. Now, there are some filming techniques that you need to know in order to successfully clone yourself. I go over those in a tutorial that I'll link below. It's a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, but the filming techniques definitely apply here. So let's go ahead and click on the clip and select the clip where I am popping in from the side of the screen. And what we're gonna do here is trio left. And you'll see that I'm not actually in the screen here. This actually looks really, really bad. So what I'm gonna do is just click and drag until we've gone over as far as we can. And now if we play that back, you'll see that I'm distracting myself, which I do a lot, like a lot, a lot. So that was pretty easy. I clicked a button, I made a few adjustments and I was done. And that's kind of par for the course with Movavi Video Editor Plus. It's, it's really simple, really intuitive and still really powerful. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with it. Again, if you wanna check out Movavi Video Editor Plus for yourself, there is a link in the description as well as that discount code. Now, surprisingly enough, I didn't come across this overlay section when I did my initial run through of Movavi Video Editor Plus. But if you wanna see what I did discover, check out this video right here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll help you become a better video editor, make Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.